Iranian television is confirming that an Iranian top nuclear scientist that Israel alleged had led the Islamic Republic's military nuclear program was killed in a shootout this Friday. The scientist, Moisen Fakhri Zadia, was considered the driving force behind the country's nuclear weapons program before it was quietly disbanded in the early 2000s. The attack happening in Absad, a small city just east of the capital, Tehran. Israel declined to immediately comment on the killing of Fakhri Zadia, who Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu once called out in a news conference saying, remember that name. Israel having long been suspected of carrying out a series of targeted killings of Iranian nuclear scientists nearly a decade ago. Joining me now is Rob Parsons, our chief foreign editor. Rob, what do we know about this assassination at this point in time? Well, we know, as you, as, you, as you said, Annette, that this happened in the town of Absad uh, to the east of Tehran. It's a, it's a place where uh, a lot of the uh, Tehran elite live, uh, and he was there among them. Uh, it, it was apparently quite a quiet day because of the, uh, the lockdown uh, in Tehran and, and its surroundings because of the coronavirus. Less people around, in other words, to bear witness to what happened. Uh, the, the attack seems to have been by an explosive device followed by automatic gunfire, according to witnesses, who shot, uh, the, the, apparently the attackers or attacker shot through the windscreen of the uh, Nissan car that uh, Fakhri Zadeh was in. He was in it with uh, his bodyguards, apparently, who are now in hospital uh, being treated. They seem to have survived. He clearly did not survive his wounds, according to the information that is now leaking through, not just from the Defence Ministry, but also from the Revolutionary Guards as well. Uh, and it should be borne in mind that uh, this is not the first time that uh, leading figures in the Iranian nuclear industry have been targeted. Uh, between 2010 and 2012, there were four assassinations uh, of figures in the Iranian nuclear industry. So nothing new here. Any theories as to who and why at this point, Rob? Well, it's early days, Annette, you know, but, but you know, don't be surprised that the finger is being pointed at Israel, uh, whether acting uh, independently or whether perhaps actingly, acting in uh, coordination uh, or on the orders of the United States. There's nothing at this stage to back it up. Israel has not confirmed uh, that it was involved in an incident of this kind, but it didn't in previous attacks, uh, which were later attributed to Israel, the ones I referred to, 2010 to 2012, nor the attacks on Syrian nuclear scientists in 2014, which killed four. Uh, so it is quite possible uh, that uh, Mossad, the uh, Israeli intelligence agency, was involved in this. But again, as I said, you know, we, we really have no evidence at this stage. There's been a lot of hearsay. It's interesting that Mike Pompeo, U.S. Secretary of State, uh, in the dying days of this current administration, paid a visit not very long ago, a week or so ago, to Israel. Perhaps it was something that was discussed then. Perhaps not. We just don't know. But there's no doubt that the finger uh, of most people will be pointing in the direction of Israel. Bear in mind, to 2018, Mossad carried out a very daring raid on a warehouse uh, in Tehran, stole 55,000 pages of material relating to Iran's nuclear agency. And after that, uh, Netanyahu, uh, ben, uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, the Israeli prime minister, singled out Mohsen uh, Fakhrizad, as you mentioned in your introduction, saying, remember that name. Rob Parsons, uh, thank you for that.